Hi everyone. So I'm um, going to have you today. Uh, SGR. Really have had a good time. And I thought to share what to do in case you're traveling and you're pregnant. And um, especially a long and long trip. For example, this one. So one thing you need to know is that in pregnancy for long standing hours of sitting or um, inactivity can actually predispose you to DVT and one of the ways is actually this one which is a long travel uh, with the uh, train or a plane to uh, across a large distance so the one thing that you need to do is one take the aisle seat aisle seat is always important the second thing is we make sure to take a lot of water drink as much food as possible especially if you feel like you're overheating or you feel that um, you're just feeling anxious and all that, please, please, please take a lot of uh, uh, water in your country. Avoid caffeine, no coffee, no tea, no carbonated drinks. They tend to dehydrate you as well, so that's not good. Then move, move in the train or move in the plane. It allows, especially if it's a smooth ride, please make sure to go to the washroom, come around, move along the areas because that also allows movement of the openings. The other thing is that if you're seated, you can flex and, um, and move your feet and your ankles. Yeah? So I'm just going to show you in a minute how to do so. Forget the interference. Yes. So pretty much something like that so you just move up and down and up and down and take it round and then up and down yes so that pretty much allows your body to keep your, your blood to be moving. I remember the other thing that you're scared of is um, getting sick along the flight. So if you can carry your own snacks and um, just uh, avoid taking snacks that have been largely produced. But then that doesn't mean you get hungry. Um, it's just a fine balance. And then the other thing to, to note is tell your doctor that you're going to be traveling. If you've had a previous risky pregnancy, kindly tell your doctor, let them put you on progesterone if they will. Um, advise you further. Sometimes you have to get a doctor's note um, to guide you, especially if it's a flight. Um, most flights don't allow you to travel after 28 weeks, uh, 28 to 30 weeks, depending on the flight, and unless you have. Um, the doctor's note. Check if you have travel insurance. Some of them don't cover pregnancy or if you do an emergency. Please, please, please ensure that uh, wherever you're going, you know the hospitals are around in case of an emergency. If you have history of prior pregnancy loss, do not go without having telling your doctor that uh, you're traveling so that they have give you protective uh, medication. And last but not least, enjoy yourself. Don't forget to hydrate. Don't forget to take your life easy. And yeah, all the best in your pregnancy. Thank you.